If you don't breathe, you don't, you don't survive. And as a respiratory therapist, when you are unable to breathe, that's when they call for us. You are part of the team where you're respected because your niche is how we make changes to get those numbers to what we need to survive. And they rely on us. Here, you just go make the changes. They don't tell us what to do, and that's rewarding. I see why clinical or the program would be scary, but everything starts to fall into place when you're going through the program. They don't feed you to the wolves. They kind of guide you into your first test or they guide you into your first day of clinical. You're never really left hanging out to dry. I ask a lot of questions. I do a lot of hand raising. <laughs> But with my professors, I think my experience has been quite positive only because, you know, with me asking a lot of extensive questions, I know that my voice is going to be heard and that they're going to take the time out, you know, to give me that information and I'm able to, you know, receive it properly in order to do my work. Your teachers, they let you practice anytime you want and they make sure, like, you're doing it right and you're doing it consistently, like, and they're very nice and they guide you. and. If you're afraid, they'll help you, and like they're not gonna let you fail. You always have a preceptor with you, so you're never unsafe. So as time goes on, you get more and more used to it. The smells, the atmosphere, the, the traumas and things like that. As time goes on, you get more comfortable as an individual and as a respiratory therapist. The program itself is intensive and thorough but extremely rewarding. The clinical rotations that are required during schooling are within, uh, uh, nearby, they're, they're within our community. You don't have to drive extensive distances, especially in the winter. Delta College has all of your uh, research resources that you may need. It has all the library facilities you may need. We have a fully functioning lab that mimics a hospital. And we have every piece of technology that you're gonna see as an entry-level respiratory therapist. Anywhere in the healthcare field, if you like helping people and you're truly engrossed in how, you know, the body works and you're um, happy seeing others, you know, healthy and happy, I think that for me, it's just having a patient look at me and say, thank you for saving my life. That is one of the truly rewarding things about being in the healthcare profession, especially being a respiratory therapist. Don't overthink it. You know, like I said, take it day by day overcome the obstacles little by little and just breathe, breathe.